Welcome back to another edition of Twinkle Tip Friday videos, folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's great to see you again on this Twinkle Tip Friday. I have got something that is new, not new to X Lights, but new for any video that I've ever done. I've never talked about packaging a sequence, and we're going to do that today. Stay tuned. All right, so first, what is a package sequence? Well, let's kind of go through this real quick. Let me get out of the way. And uh, you can see here, this is, uh, this is my folder here with a number of our package sequences that we've created through the years. It's uh, quite an extensive list, but what you'll see is the package sequence is nothing more than a way to put all of the sequencing and all of the um, components that are baked or built into the sequence uh, that that includes your layout your uh, networking file and uh, how your channels are set up your all of your assignments everything that's baked into your uh, x lights layout and the sequence all packages up into one zip file which contains everything in order to recreate that sequence so the why am i doing a video on a package sequence all right so let's do a little bit of exploration of what a package sequence really is what's inside it i want to share with you let's see ariana grande this is a good one um we can open up and oh, we can open it up and here is if we just open the folder just basically open the folder here is the file that the actual sequence, the original sequence, was created in. This is the file on my desktop that we would work out of. And inside that file, we have a couple different things. First, we have a network file. We have an RGB effects file. Now, these are the two main files in your folder structure that x -Lights uses to create your layout and your network. This here is the image background for um, the, the scene that you see in your pre house preview. So if I move this off the screen, go back to the layout here, there, there's this picture right here where it says pro.jpg. That's, uh, that's what that is. That's packaging up that picture so you can see the picture just as if you're working on your regular computer and you were transferring this and opening it on another computer. So now you have another file. It's called an x -Lite sequence file. It's also known, and let me extend this out here, as an XSQ file. Previously, previously, x -Lite's sequences were not XSQ files. They were actually XML files. Yes, that's right. They were exactly like your X lights layout network and RGBFX file. And I'll prove that to you. Let me go over here and we'll grab a, a, another copy of a different layout here. And we'll go into this folder here, uh, the getup. And if we double click on it, come into it here, you see the folder name that we did the sequencing in was called the getup. And when we open it up, now you have kind of the same thing, but you see, look, uh, here's the GetUp Halloween Pro. It has an XML file type. It doesn't have the XSQ. So if you import older sequences down the road, if you download a sequence and you don't see the XSQ, the little nutcracker icon, if you don't see this, but you do see something with a name and an XML file, it's the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. It imports the same way. It's the same information. So with that caveat out of the way, what else is here? Well, we have a folder called Lost. Now, inside this Lost folder, you can find pretty much any piece of information that was necessary in order to create the sequence that you're going to find inside the sequence. Now, if we go into the Lost folder, what I like to use a lot of, and I'm going to sort these by file type, I like to use a lot of AVI videos because I use... Uh, AVI videos, I use uh, different FS file shaders. Uh, I use uh, images, so uh, animated GIFs. Sometimes I'll use those, I'll make those. And sometimes I'll uh, use uh, images, pictures, usually PNGs, that's what I like to use. But uh, you'll find anything that is necessary to recreate the sequence is probably going to be in the lost folder. Now, if you're very organized and you're working in your show layout and you have a folder that is lateral. Let's say uh, here's your show folder, here's your X lights layout. You might have a folder in here that's called pictures. You might have a folder in here that's called videos. 
And when you do, and you create the sequence and you use those folders that are inside your show directory that say videos and pictures, you don't get this lost folder. You may get the lost folder if the images and pictures are outside of your show directory. Your show directory is here. But if they're inside, the X Lights will create, when it packages a sequence, it'll create the folder that those files were in, and as well as it will put those files inside that folder. And it packages everything up nice and neat to make it very clean for you to uh, package the sequence, and it puts it all together. So why would you, as a home user of X Lights, ever package a sequence up? Well, you would do this if you were trying to take your work, your sequencing, from one computer and transfer it over to, let's say, a second computer. Maybe you want to work off of a laptop. Maybe you have a, a PC at work that you can use. You can transfer this wherever you like and extract that file. And we have a, a, a few things that are kind of I don't want to say new, but different about X Lights in a way that um, have changed over the past year. Just as back in 2024, and I did a video on this, is a new package sequence file. Now, what you saw earlier, and I'll go grab them here and I'll pull uh, this out of the way. What you see here is a list of package sequences on the screen. But one thing that you're going to notice is that there is now a new zip file type. We're used to a .zip, you can see it here, uh, but you see here we have another one, it's called an XSQZ. And we're used to an XSQ sequence, but XSQZ stands for the Z, stands for the zip. So you can tell here, see how it says XLite's package sequence. So Windows knows, hey, when you see an XSQZ file, that means for an XLite's package sequence. Now. The nice thing about a package sequence is, is you don't have to open up another version of X Lights uh, in order to see what the sequence has inside it. You can just double click on uh, the icon there and you see there X Lights is going to extract the sequence and it's going to open up a new version. Now I'm in Windows. I'm not sure how well this works in Mac, so I can't speak for that. But, um, but when this opens up, we'll have the opportunity to just open up on the other screen. It just it gives us the opportunity to look at the sequence on a different layout somewhere. And we can render this. I'm not going to render this right now. But we could render this and we could play this sequence. You can only see what's going on. You can see the layout. Here's the layout items. Here's the controller tab. Here's the sequence. You can go through and open up. Here's the uh, master view here. And uh, I'll look at all those timing marks. That's a lot of... Uh, timing marks. Let's go to the new master there. And uh, there's there's your effects. The only problem is, is that if you start making changes uh, and adding additions in, as I've just done there, and you try to save it, X Lights won't let you, let you save it. This is only a read-only mode. So the XSQZ file is great for you to be able to open up render the sequence, see what they, how they had it set up, see how all, all of the things are, are set up in the sequence, all of the programming, but you're unable to make any changes before mapping it into your show if that's what you're trying to do. In this case, uh, you might be mapping it. Now, the, ex uh, the, the zip file doesn't open up like this. We, just, we already showed you that. You can't double click on a zip file and it open up into X lights. The next thing I wanna show you are there are two options in the uh, X Lights preferences that you probably want to be aware of. So let's go into File Preferences up here, File and Preferences. And after the Preferences menu opens, go to the Others tab. Now on this Others tab, you're going to see there's a number of options here. And yes, that's my email address, ClydePixelProtosPlace.com, if you want to email me. Um, this Package Sequences dialog. Now inside this dialog, we have two checkboxes. And the first one is exclude presets. And the second one is exclude audio. If you are a sequence vendor, we're not allowed to share an MP3. We're not. It's against the law. You have to make or purchase your own copy of an MP3 or a song or a, a musical arrangement. Uh, you have to have your own copy or purchase your own copy. Nobody should be uh, including these with a downloaded sequence. The other thing, let's go look at some presets. Uh, I'm going to leave those alone there. 
I just want to, I, I, I'm not doing this to show off, but I'm doing this more for the fact that I've been saving presets now for a very long time. And I have a significant number of them. That's just one of the categories. Uh, here is uh, a buffers animation. Here's a buffer settings. Uh, let's go right to the morph. The morphs are my favorite. So here's my morphing presets, a number of them. In any event, as you can see, presets, when you have a lot of them, you don't have to give those away. And using that checkbox is something that you might consider doing. We've, we've, we've talked all about the package sequences and, and uh, the options and the settings and so forth. And if you uh, want to include certain things like the preset effects and so forth. But what we haven't talked about yet is for those of you who are not as good with your file structure, meaning you kind of keep everything everywhere and it's not let's say the well the best organized let's face it some of us are computer nerds and others are computer get buyers we just get by with whatever it is that we can do on there and hope to god that we get it to work um so if you're if you're the latter uh and you're and you're not as uh, used to putting your file structures together then i highly recommend using this option let's go ahead and head over here to the tools and we have an option here on underneath of our tools that is called cleanup file locations cleanup file locations is great for when you're trying to organize everything before you package the sequence you can go ahead and do that clean it up and then whenever you want to go package the sequence you can click on a tools package sequence um, Oh, the, this is a, a message you might get every once in a while. If you've made a change to a sequence in between opening it, moving it, and doing something, you may want to save the changes. So uh, if we do that, click OK. Uh, let's, get, let's close this. We'll hit the Save button. Super easy. Let's go back in and hit Tools and Package Sequence. And now if we package the sequence, we have two options. We have the XSQZ or we have we can change this we can call it a dot zip um, so i i'm typically used to doing the dot zip uh, you can see there it packaged everything up we could also go in and go tools package sequence and we could use the xsqz now the save location is going to be in your show directory it's going to put it right in your show directory along with all your other show files and folders and so forth so i'll go ahead and package this one up too with the xsqz file let's go grab that uh let's go grab that layout real quick there we go so here is here is my uh, show folder uh, the pro layout here and inside here you see we just packaged up this sequence and you have it says hark the herald angel sing uh, DG remix pro layout dot zip so let's explore let's double click on it take a second for it to open up and you can see here that we have now that we cleaned up the package uh, the file locations if we double click on the pro layout you can see inside pro layout it has all of your specialty things such as your um, AVI's your background image uh, and oh look here's your shaders it put it in a shader folder because I have a shader folder inside my X lights directory so that clean up file locations is a nice function um, and, and and it can be helpful let's go look let's go back and uh, we'll go look at the Let's go back and look at the uh, other uh, version of the folder. Um, what? Oh boy. All right, we'll go and search for our other sequence package, which should be um, somewhere uh, um, across the top here. See, there we go. Uh, X lights package sequence hark the herald you can see there now it's packaged you could change this from xsqz to a dot zip um, or you could leave it as it is you could double click on it you can import your sequence from this folder or from this package uh, X lights package um, but these are your options guys for packaging up a sequence and perhaps moving it over to another show folder or so forth
Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful, informative. Maybe you learned something. Maybe there was something here that you didn't see or didn't know about before. If you did, we hope that you give the uh, the video a huge like. Hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss one of our Twinkle Tip Friday videos. And we hope that the information we bring to you is helpful and will teach you something new in x Lights, guys. If you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence new to the store every single month. We call it the Triple Play Sequence. There's usually three songs in the Triple Play. Two of them have been new for quite a while now. And then once the third one is always something from the store that already exists. You get a choice every month of three different songs and with the club membership you also get access to huge discounts from our ppd affiliates like experience lights with we've got uh Boscoyo studios and a number of other vendor affiliates over 20 of them now so join the club hopefully uh you find what we do helpful and informative guys have a wonderful day thank you very much for joining us in this week's winkle tip friday video we'll see you in the next video take care and goodbye for now